bored, 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 boring, boring, dull, tedious, annoying, backache, arm ache, cramp, miserable, hate, James. Formula One is back in action and that means another meme review and this one also is to cure my depression from that abysmal F123 reveal where it was just a cover art reveal and the real reveal is on Wednesday. Thank you EA, thank you Cody, sun's crying, let's get into the memes. Ocon driving through the pit lane on lap 51, I mean pretty much, I mean the crowd out there, literally like the photographer's gander, well, I cannot believe what a mess that was from the FI that those guys were allowed to, 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 to go on the pit lane. You know, we've had that situation before with Albon making a late pit stop, you know, just because most likely a pit stop won't happen that late on the race does not mean there should be protocol followed on. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's not really a laughing matter per se, because that could have been a really nasty situation. But thankfully, no one was injured. We can laugh about it a little bit. And it was certainly L pain moment for Ocon looking. I cannot imagine for, let alone from the offboard. Like, if you're in the cockpit seeing that, bruh, uh, the PTSD a little bit. The Baku sprint was great. <laughs> I saw this on Twitter over the weekend. Russell opening up the cavity in the Red Bull side pod. Uh, look, listen, that moment right there, that gave us the juiciest bit of the entire race weekend, to be honest, because the sprint wasn't that great, the real race wasn't that great, this moment was really everything. That's If that doesn't make the drive to survive edit, I don't know what will. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, no. Did you? <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's, that's, that. Of course, the internet went to that. Ferrari had extra help during the last lap. It's, it's Snape. He's doing his spells. He's just charting away. Please don't crash it. Leclerc, Charles. Please don't bit it in the wall. Please, not in the wall, not in the wall, not in the wall. And it worked out for him in qualifying. Best moment of the season thus far. This was the real showman of the entire Baku weekend. The medium tyre, full front and centre. And I mean, that was just, uh, it, was, it was a bit painful to be honest for Yuki because he did so well in the quali uh, for the real Grand Prix. The sprint day, not so much. I think we may have overhyped him a little bit. Nick De Vries in F3, F2 and FE. De Vries in F1. It, it's it's not been the best first year in Formula One for all of that, you know, showmanship at that uh, amazing Monza race with the Williams. It's, uh, you know, Yuki's actually done exactly what Pierre was telling him to do in Drive to Survive behind the scenes, you know, actually showing up and being the team leader, putting your, your foot down um, and, and he's made sure that De Vries is not coming in and embarrassing him. Uh, Leclerc after the F1 spring break. All right, now let's see where were we? Oh yes, in a pit of despair and it kind of continues because to be honest, I don't know, if, you, if you're getting pole, your hope gets up a little bit. So in a way, is there not more despair getting the pole and then immediately like, you know, you're defenseless to, 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 you know, to even try and keep a race win, basically. I think that's a bit more despair in a way. No way they don't know how to stand correctly on the, what? Is this what? I didn't even notice this. I did not notice this whatsoever. Versta yeah, Verstappen's meant to be on the left. What? What's going on here? How many races have these guys been on podiums? And we and with each other as well. Leclerc defending his po <laughs> his pole position. It's it's useless. It's useless. No amount of pedaling's helping, mate. The Red Bull's already flown by. Even Aston be hinted. I said this was this was a nice touch. Aston have checked in on the rumor mill and the hype of Taylor Swift maybe apparently dating Fernando Alonso. Uh, I th either way, I think Aston, the admin of Aston Martin, especially on TikTok uh, and Alonso's account. I think checking in on that hype just for a good laugh and engagement and you got to applaud it board, Oh, I know what board, this is board, yep, board, this is board, board, absolutely boring, on point. boring, dull, tedious, annoying, backache, arm ache, <laughs> cramp, miserable, hate, James How far from Scotland James. is Carlisle? This just proves and also the Twitter account F1 portrayed by Top Gear proves that Top Gear just has a great affiliation for having any clip 
for every kind of F1 moment and scenario, whether it's a reaction representing F1, it just works. The World Drivers' Championship prophecy timeline meme goes, bruh. Four consecutive titles, Vettel, Hamilton, then you've got two consecutive titles, Hamilton, Verstappen, and then the teammate one, breaking the reigning champion streak, Rosberg, in comes Sergio. Look, I, 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 you know, Perez, well done on the win. Again, street, uh, street circuit merchant coming in strong. I would love for Perez to rise up this season, but over the course of the season, one, do you think Red Bull's gonna let that happen? And two, do you really think it's gonna even happen if it was allowed to be happened? Fred going after the Ferrari engineers every race. He's like, come back here. That wasn't a good enough job. Me as a Yuki fan celebrating his back-to-back -back points. Oh, look at him. I think that's, that's a young Yuki, isn't it? On the, on the top step, look at him. He's, I mean, he's the same size as now, but he's, uh, <laughs> that was me, that was me. Mean. But no, uh, yeah, no, uh, Sonoda, I like, I like the vibes, okay? Obviously, the sprint race didn't go so well for him, but the actual Grand Prix, decent stuff, got into Q3, whereas his teammate floundering, crashing into the wall, I'm happy for him, I'm happy, because he had a lot of pressure on him into this season, and he is stepping up in what is a wagon R plus of a car of an Alpha Tauri. When you see a customer make a mess, knowing you're going to have to clean it up, the Alpine spewing away... And the horror, the horror back in the Alpine garret. She's terrified. That right there, that's the face of, oh, bloody hell. This is going to take up so much time and work. Farewell. <laughs> Just leaving the gas station. Max. Max being the need. If you don't know what this is a reference to, there's a story about, um, you know, I think it was what? Max didn't win a karting race or whatever. And his dad just left him at the gas station afterwards or, some or something to that effect. Uh, <laughs> oh, Lord. Alpine set on fire in France pension protest. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him, you know? I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't put it past Pierre. He's really passionate about those pensions. The real winner of today, it's not Max, it's not Checo, it is just Charles going a full race distance without a single insert, which is impressive, okay? Especially this season, that is actually something to be properly commended. Poor Latte Boy, when you get beat by uh, four plus seconds is by torpedoing your rival. Ah, sugar. Also, this is the, the Russell not making it through in qualifying. You, he was seething, and he's the only person ever that you'd be that angry at not making the next part of qualifying going, ah, sugar. Like, sugar? Really? An image says a thousand words. They don't know I'm dating Taylor Swift. My sideboard has a head size hole in it, mate. Blimey, me tie is cold. Congrats, mate. You too. <laughs> That's actually great. I like that. Blimey, me tie is cold. Oh, it's another Top Gear classic. <laughs> Verstappen in part, but brilliant, brilliant. RB on the main straight. Yep, seems about right, actually. They're just striking fear into the hearts of everyone, just gobbling up everything in its wake. No one can match them in a straight line. I don't think anyone will. I mean, that's the only hope of anyone beating them, so they need to figure that out. F1 social team preparing. The Perez is the king of street posts. 200,000 units are ready with a million more on the way, sir. We are ready. We're going to post it everywhere. We're going to make this a big deal. We're going to bring out the comparison of the points again to really put firm that this is a two-way title fight between the two Red Bulls. <laughs> to no after the tyre check. That literally is actually so accurate. Just crabbing up. Whose bright idea was it to send him out or not stop him as he left? Because it was kind of clear the tyre and the whole suspension area was already severely bent. The FI watching the main quality have the same results as the sprint. Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't really that different. I think they, they need to maybe tweak the sprint quality if they're going to keep it or just do one quality and then have it apply for both races. But the result of the sprint doesn't affect the main race. I don't know. Uh, or just don't have sprints because, yeah, this weekend I was all for like, okay, they want to keep sprints tweak it a little bit maybe we get a bit more action but i don't know maybe it's just baku being quite a dud this season but it really just seemed like overkill with the amount of sessions we had for not even that much more action combustion engine <laughs> industrial revolution circa 1760 to 1840 coal powered f1 car <laughs> 
That's good. That's a great edit. That's a good edit. When you forget to buy a gift for your partners, but <laughs> they literally thought, hang on, we need to have a different kind of trophy and cap for the sprint, the new sprint. I know. Let's just splat some paint on a normal Pirelli hat. That'll do it. That. I think there's a photo of Leclerc accepting this. We can see his face, and it's. It's not exactly impressed, but that's where we're going to end it off for today then, guys. If you have enjoyed it, then be sure to hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys around. Goodbye.